power up all. Wind is still gusting. We're between 5 and 17 on the anemometer. That's okay. We'll continue with some, some, uh, some choppy wind testing of the free wing 90 millimeter F22. Easy rotation gear goes up. I'm back to 10% here. And that's punch up to 80, back to zero. I'm gonna do 100 right here, and the aircraft will immediately enter hover there. Push my nose down. <laughs> Reduce power to 30% and easy, easy, easy recovery. This aircraft is really going to be your, while it may not look it because of its modern aesthetic, this really is our latest sort of 90 millimeter size trainer. That was all zero throttle on my descent there. I'm right about 10, actually no, check that, I'm at 20% throttle here. So you a nice, nice flat approach. I'm reducing even further to 10% as we head into the sun. So as a trainer, good characteristics are gonna be a good size, good wing area, obviously good wing loading, and it does not need to be flown quick. Of course, we've got our friends who are going to be flying this aircraft very acrobatically. The F-22 by its very nature is very, very maneuverable. But for pilots just starting out, getting used to not just orient, orienting an aircraft of this size, but also frankly dealing with the nerves of, uh, of having this much money in the sky, it's nice to have an aircraft that does not need to be flown very quickly. And at the same time, when you're ready, of course, we can power 100%, climb vertical, who wants the race. So that's my full left rudder there, just showing how the nose will hunt, point its direction, give yourself some power, and the aircraft recovers very, very easily. The coordinated turn as well. And again, very nimble flying. I'll push nose all the way over, roll over twice, full pull up, you're not gonna see another 90 millimeter jet that'll be able to ex execute that maneuver like that without snapping. And day in the life, everyone, day in the life. So <laughs> this is really gonna turn out to be more of a the, the, the slow flight trainer video. Easy to see, especially against a blue sky. Granted, it's gray, but notice how the shifts, the, that this tone sh shift as the aircraft moves through the sky. Light changes, we see a bit of difference in our shape there. Getting it lower into the grass, we can see. And then getting very, very, very irresponsible on the, troll, in the, on the controls, pulling back full elevator. And again, just trying to demonstrate that it's, it's gonna be difficult, everyone, to enter this aircraft into a condition from which it cannot recover. This is all zero power, 100%, and I'm able to climb out of that, nose down, zero power again, full rudder over, nice and level, level, level. If I had a little bit more altitude, we could have executed a, a nice flat uh, nose-in spiral. We'll work on that in future videos. As the wind dies down, we may give you a, a fast video here. Gears coming down, no flaps. I'm just over idle here, riding the, riding the bumps in the wind. Nice and slow approach here. So 
So that's a faster approach. In other videos, you can you'll be able to see just how slow you can bring the aircraft in with or without flaps. An aircraft that likes the high alpha obviously is going to give you the benefit of, of being able to, to choose sort of your approach speed and your angle of attack. Whether you're doing it flat with flaps on or carrier style and chop and drop. We got lots of batteries. Let's keep flying, everyone. It is a windy day today. We're going to still have lots of fun. So, as we've shown in some earlier videos, everyone, the aircraft is very good at flying slowly. And we want to show that obviously she can still pick up speed as well. We've got a good balance between thrust and uh, between your static thrust and your dynamic thrust when the aircraft is actually moving. I'm riding the wind up here. And you can hear when I'm power off. I'm power off right about here. And a nose over, roll, still power off. All this is power off stealth pass. And I'm going to punch to right about 40%, catch it, keep my inertia as I'm moving, face into the wind, the wind is now shifted, and we're back to cruising. I'm going to do a nice 45 degree turn there as I'm reducing power. Most of our 90s, just they're not going to fly like that, which is why, again, we're calling this sort of a 90 millimeter trainer. A bit of some slow pass. Let me get a little lower into the weeds here so we can see the frame of reference as the camera guy is in my way. So again, easy to stay, easy to stay low, close, slow. And 100% and we're climbing. Cut to zero, roll the aircraft over all the way to the ground and pull 100% again. <laughs> Turn the opposite direction. <laughs> I mean, not a lot of planes are going to be able to perform like this aircraft. Of course, we know that there's going to be some, some questions. What about thrust vectoring? And the idea here, guys, is that we've optimized the aircraft so it doesn't need it. While it looks cool on the ground, frankly, we're mostly concerned with how the aircraft is going to perform in the sky and as you can just see climbing vertically near near uh, near hover I can kick rudder over the aircraft returns to level and I've been zero percent the entire time I'm talking so pretty pretty amazing power up here I'll show you just how slow and steep we can get this aircraft I haven't even toggled flaps yet to show just how again irresponsible the aircraft can be flown which for a Raptor pilot is, is how they fly them. And we've tried to replicate that experience into this model without the added complexity, weight, cost, uh, and other disadvantages of... And I do not have power. So good reminder everyone, check your batteries, especially brand new ones. We do not recommend these. I recommend staying with these. Luckily, that engine out didn't cost us the airplane. <laughs> Stroke of good luck, because we had full control, was able to keep the aircraft level uh, as it came down, and because it didn't stall even after that tree line, it essentially pancaked down into a bit of grass. We took a picture, we'll post that for you. So, so that was fun. Let's go fly. For now, I'm blackballing this brand. Go, Admiral. All right, everybody. So that's uh, this is going to be Flight of the Phoenix here. Pull the aircraft out of the out of the weeds as we just showed you. The gear coming up, and we're already <laughs> back to flying.
nice and steep. I mean, you're not going to see I see a steeper maneuvering aircraft than this one. Cutting to zero. We're in the sun here. Of course, we did inspect the fan for FOD. Because the aircraft just, uh, because it just pancaked, we didn't get any damage, which is nice. Really, all in all, pretty lucky flight. So where were we? We were talking about, talking about how the aircraft flies, not just as a trainer, but as something that we can push around. Before the sun gets too low, trying to push that aircraft around. It's still a little windy. Maneuvering at about 50%, 50% 50%, uh, throttle there. Soaking right about 80 here. And then you can see, I just, I'm really just trying to demonstrate, guys, just how aggressively we can fly the aircraft without having it depart. I'm cutting back to zero here, and we're, we're gliding. I suspect a lot of our pilots will have a lot of fun pushing the envelope with this aircraft, seeing what exactly you can do. You can do, of course, you can do your Cobra. I think that's one's gonna be pretty popular. Uh, but also difficult to see because of the framing here, but I'm turning into the wind at a near stall here. <laughs> Again, flat. There's no other aircraft in our lineup here at Freewing and Motion RC which will be able to execute that maneuver. So turning back into the wind and you're back into kite mode. I actually equate this aircraft somewhat to the Freewing 90 millimeter Venom in the sense that it's fast, it's got a lot of uh, a lot of things you can do with it, a very, very, very wide flight envelope. And at the same time, again, zero power, descending spiral, rudder only, and, and no power at all. Uh, aside from the Venom, I can't think of another aircraft that I'd be comfortable trying to execute those maneuvers with. So again, have fun, guys. Wind's gonna be shifting on us. We've got a bit of a crosswind, that's all right. We'll come down again without flaps. I'm going to chop and drop, but don't recommend chopping and dropping. But just to demonstrate it, I'm actually going to power up just a little, right about 10% above idle here. And we can drop just to demonstrate when people drop. You know, be careful of that flare. And that's how we recommend. We recommend actually coming in 10% throttle depending on your headwind. But I think it's still a worthy demonstration, as you can see, uh, for those, <laughs> those of you who do chop and drop and are doing maximal flare when you're still a foot off the runway, as we can see here, the aircraft will settle in. It will not drop its wing and give you again time to, to settle in. So I flew that flight. I'm at 100% and 100%. So that's just, that's just my, my preference. Um, our manual is going to call out mid and low rates for elevator and aileron. Uh, try medium, I'd say. But uh, I think a good demonstration, I hope you guys get a better feel and start to think of how you can fly this aircraft. It will not bite you. It's got, it's got its low speed stability. Most importantly, it has your departure stability. It just will, it will not snap on you. Keep your altitude up. As long as you have altitude recover, you frankly don't need a lot of airspeed, which is one of those differentiating factors in the free wing 90 millimeter F-22. So as always, everyone, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening to me ramble as we toss around this airplane in some windy conditions and uh, stay tuned for more.